everyone, this is Dr. Nanya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about blood culture test and sensitivity test. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is blood culture test. This is a test that helps doctor to find out the kind of infection you have in the bloodstream that may affect the entire system. This sort of infection is known as systemic infection. This test checks a sample of blood for bacteria or yeast that might be causing this infection. Now, let us see why you may require this test. You may require this test if your doctor suspects of a systemic infection. You may also require this test if you have symptoms such as fatigue, fever with chills, nausea, vomiting, rapid heart rate. If your infection is severe, you may also have inflammation in different parts of bodies. You may have serious drop in blood pressure. You may have clot formation and may also have organ failure. So now let us know how is this test performed. For this test, a small sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm. The sample is then collected and sent to the lab. The results usually come after 72 hours. In the lab, the blood is mixed with a special material known as culture. This material will help the bacteria and yeast to grow if they are already present in the blood. This test can also help to determine the type of bacteria and yeast, which will help in better treatment. So, how can you prepare for this test? But make sure you inform your doctor about all the medications that you are taking, including the OTCs. Also include any dietary or vitamin supplements that you are taking. Also, if you are taking antibiotics or have taken antibiotics recently, do inform your doctor. So, are there any risks or side effects of this test? This test is very simple and very quick. There are almost no side effects or risks associated to it. But make sure while taking the test, the area is well cleaned and the needle is sterilized. Now, let us talk about the results. What may the results mean? If your result is positive, it indicates the presence of bacteria and yeast in the blood. If your result is positive, your doctor might require additional tests to confirm the diagnosis and choose the best treatment plan. If your result is negative, it indicates the absence of bacteria and yeast. Again, additional tests might be required by the doctor if the symptoms persist so as to find the exact reason of the symptoms. Now, talking about sensitivity test, what is sensitivity test? For a blood culture, a sample of substance is added so as to promote the growth of the germs. The presence of the germs might be found using a microscope or some chemical tests. Sometimes, other tests are performed to find the right medicine for the treatment. This type of testing is known as sensitivity testing. For this testing, two or more than two samples are taken from different veins so as not to miss any kind of bacteria or yeast. Also, it is very important for you to get tested from a repeated and reliable lab. A link to a repeated and reliable lab will be provided in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.